Yo, what up? We're not what even going to do the intro today. <laughs> We're just going to jump in. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 As you can see, we got the uh, the Wakanda talons around the neck here. So <laughs> we going to save that conversation. Though. I got a feeling Vocab probably got some stuff he got to say on it, too. Oh, you know that. You know this, man. So, We'll save that one for when he can he can join us. Unfortunately, he can't be with us today, so he's got a. Well, he can't be. With you. Nah, I'm gonna see him later. So. Well, whatever here, you know. Yeah. Someone's gonna all live in Atlanta. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. yeah. So we will hit everything else. I hope everybody's having a great week, uh, gentlemen. How's we been for you? What's been up? What's going on? Um, man. This weekend was awesome. You know, Bo came to town. We had some some uh, more people to be here. Potter experience. Ah, oh, yeah, you All mentioned right. that. Apparently, Harry or uh, Daniel Radcliffe is the drummer. According of Harry Potter, he's broken eighty. Just beating the most stuff. He broke eighty of them. Yeah, that, wow, that was interesting. It's like they was giving like all that type of like, oh. what's up, Jumbo? Like that, what up, Jumbo? What up? Appreciate you swinging in. That's cool. It, it is always interesting, like to get to know stuff about the actors and stuff when you when you get an iconic role. It's like, okay, well, this is what the person's really like, even though this is what they portrayed very well on screen. I think we're gonna so, post some pictures on right. Discord. Okay, cool. Look forward to seeing him. Yeah, you jump in the jump in the uh, Discord, and you can see some of those pictures. He'll probably put a few on social media as well. So, oh, keep an eye out for with the battle and brew again. I did see a clip on that. How would how did the so, night go? Um, it was it was good. We had. I am very good at mini games. Mini games like we played what Mario Party. Play? Oh, Mario Party! Mario Party. Gotcha. gotcha. Like yeah. I won a star, star for first of all, I was in the lead pretty much the whole I won a star for um uh, having win the most mini games, which I won I'm oh, wow. <laughs> um, Mario Party seems to be it, the go to. It, it was with it came with us to battle bro. It was so that's what's so up. funny because like, like at one one point it is stole somebody's star end up with no star. <laughs> Wow. Damn! <laughs> so it was, yeah, just drive the controller, and walked out. But um, when <laughs> we got a rock paper scissors tur- tournament, and they was lit, like oh, bro, wow. they was lit for that tournament. Yeah. Um, they read emotions was like a different color, mm. like you know when we had this green kind of almost like this neon green. Right. Boring. It was really good. That's what's up. That was pretty much it. Of course, you know, I went to see Black. Just so you know. What did you say? Your audio's jumping a little bit. I know. I don't have my head. I got the regular headset. Got you. Yeah. No worries. No worries. Gotta make do sometimes. Gotta make do. It's understandable. I not much been up with me, just like I saw Black Panther this afternoon. I dodged all the spoilers. I was not spoiled at all. I am proud of myself. I, there you go. How I, I was really make you feel. It put a lot of things in perspective. I'm kind of glad something else happened on Friday. I already had my tears out already. So I'm kind of glad about that. So I already had my tears out, but I like what they did. It went about 85% of the way I thought it was going to go, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Penny, you haven't seen me yet, have you? I have not. I have not. Keep it on the hush. Okay. It was a lot, it. lot of stuff. Figure, they they, they dropped. Talk about those. I'll have both of them in, so. 
It was a good lore drop. It was it was it was good. They they did a good job. Like that movie did a good job. I'll say that much. Solid nine. I'll give it a nine. No okay. spoilers. And Baka is my favorite character. I keep hearing that. I keep hearing Baku. Duke Winston did his thing. So I keep, he I keep hearing thing. that. Yep. Okay. He did. Yeah, did Baku his did his thing. Riri was awesome. Was surprisingly awesome. Okay, Riri was actually good in there. What's up, Monty? I had a little love hate thing with Riri. Okay. Character? Um, character or actress? Not the car in. Um, um, but this is not spoiled or nothing, but they aged her up on introduce to Riri. Mm-hmm. So she, she's not like 16. She's like 19. And that kind of, it, it kind of messed up a lot of stuff for me. Gotcha. gotcha. I, I can see that. I mean, I was okay the way they aged her up a little bit and made her closer to Shuri age wise. So I didn't mind that myself personally. But I was I didn't mind it. But I would say I think Wakanda Forever did a better job introducing her to the Marvel verse than the comic books did. A way better job. Way better job. Yeah. I, we okay, okay. we we do know. I don't care what anybody says. If you watch this movie, there's no way that we're not gonna have have a young Avengers coming soon. Yeah, we, we, oh yeah, so, yeah, we talked about that before. Yeah, I might uh, get my, what, I might get my what, wish. <laughs> my wish was Young Avengers yeah. versus Champions. I, we might be on our way to that. Yeah, you're not gonna see that until I don't think it's gonna be until Phase Six or Seven. But it, it's there. The, but you disagree with Monty? You had time to Does type Monty that. Disagree? Disagree? She disagree. Oh yeah, they. I told you they had a ticket for $10. That's if, if y'all keep hearing the ding sound, that's all my character. You see how far it was? Oh, your character's downloading. <laughs> uh, ooh, Tom's good for Black Panther 3. 3. Panther 3. I can see that. It, it's gonna happen. Man, I can see it. Oh, Young Justice, well, they've already talked about adding Young Justice, though, because of all the introduction of the character. Yeah, because, I mean, your actors that are playing your major Avengers, well, when did the Avengers come out? 2015? I think so. Uh, uh, 2012? What was it, 13 or 14? You might be right. Like, it's been like 10 years. You know what I mean? It's been almost 10 years. So they're, and they're, they're in their 40s now. The actors that you had playing them have grown with these characters. You know what I mean? They're trying to go on to different projects, stuff like that. You, they're gotta, you gotta cycle them out. Just like with the whole Hugh Jackman thing and them pulling them on in, in one more time for Deadpool. Like, eventually, you, you gotta really cycle these. think it's out. just gonna be that one time? It, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I said this in one of my group. Yeah. I don't know if I said this on a show, but I said this in one of my group chats. Like, Thanos Saga, that was the golden age of MCU. We're in the Silver Age now. Phase 4 is the Silver mm-hmm. Age. If you think about it. Kind of like in that Silver Age was like the second age after you had all the classic characters and everything. We're kind of in the Silver Age right now. Well, about to be at least. If nothing else, about to be. I definitely agree with you on that. Yeah. Like, because we're in that, we're in that I transition. I feel like, you know, honestly, um, it's only one this, but I feel like with Black, Black Panther, um, we're kind of forever. We want the aftermath of what happened in on uh, Endgame. It's still, and we saw, um, we saw in Doctor Strange how, you know, we saw Spider Man aftermath, right? Kind um, aftermath, and we saw, of course, Thor. So I think the only other one aftermath we like really hear about it. Well, two because we got to see Quantum Mania and Alexis, right? And those blood. two aftermaths, and I feel like after Just right here. Has finally been confirmed about what yeah. you were just talking about. Yeah, he signed, he signed a contract for three more Spider-Man movies with Sony. Oh yeah, Tom Holland did. Oh, he's so good. That, in the case, that that plays right into what you're saying right there. You know what I mean? Because he was in. Uh, I don't think he was in Wakanda. I'm pretty sure he wasn't in Wakanda. But other than that, he's been in every other major Marvel movie. True. Tom. So uh, Tom. Yeah. No. 
Yeah, every major team up event he's been in since he's been introduced. That is kind of true. Right. I will start a hashtag right now. Then I know right. I will understand this. Give, give Angela her hashtag. Give Angela her. I'll give it to her. I was. Her so, Oscar. I was talking about this with my yeah. fiance when I left the movie. That is definitely when you her watch this one. movie, you're gonna. See See exactly what I mean with that woman. Okay. That Stop is playing with who should have been the original storm. Stop playing with it. You know what? I said this. I said this to my fiance. Dude, I'm gonna say it here. I'm agreeing, but we not go there. Top three best performance for Angela Bassett in the movie. Top three, easily top three. Now that's saying something. Give her her Oscar. She's she, she should have got it. If you think of us, we saw her in the MCU. It was she was like like really. Yeah. Give for her Oscar. She's due. She she's due. She should have got it for Malcolm X. Low key, we gonna go we gonna way back. We're not gonna, right, that's what I said. We're not gonna go into that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we, we need we, we need vocab in for that. We need vocab in for that's that. That's what I'm saying. That's a whole that's a whole conversation right there. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. Okay. Because I'm saying that's one of her top three. That's that's saying some stuff. Bro, that's saying something. Like when you get to that that part in the movie where her emotion rise bro you're, uh-huh. you're you're gonna feel it give her uh, oscars y'all stop, okay. stop playing with you gotta go slap somebody on stage to get an oscar <laughs> is, that, that's all, is that what we gotta do these days <laughs> well who's she slap? sorry will no not her will <laughs> trying, trying to say who she had to slap uh, to get an oscar. let's, let's slap open yeah. what about Dave Chappelle? i don't know <laughs> wow no i got slap no man Okay, okay. Well, that's definitely, definitely good to know. I'll keep that in mind as we're going through everything. Mm-hmm. Um, well, since we're in MCU territory, I figure we might as well, you know what I mean, start throwing some other stuff in there. We we brought up Green Lantern, uh, not Green Lantern. We brought up Deadpool, which is Ryan Reynolds. So. I got a question he, for you. He would hate you. Huh? He would hate you so much again. Who? Ron, Ron Reynolds. Oh, yeah. He yeah, hates he, that character. He hates that character with a passion. a passion. I don't blame him at all. <laughs> but, but there was, oh, where is it? I'm trying to find I it. I don't think he actually hates the character. I hate how they had him portray the character he hate more he he hates his his acting in that movie he's always said he, that was like his worst movie ever he's not lying though i mean he that's probably the only bad movie he's ever done low key i'm gonna be honest Man, bottom's great i liked it like i really like green lantern like him being hal jordan i think it worked because that was how his character I think he would have been better at, at Kyle, that time. Kyle, but... It was a good idea because we didn't have, have. I feel like now, Canada play Hal Jordan that will actually fit the character, and that's what I like about MCU and yeah. see who will fit the character more. Who it, it will be like? Okay, the best way to explain it is instead of um, finding somebody who's a great actor who. Fix the character themselves, like being them, like Tony Stark's, same, mm-hmm. pretty much same, like Robert Downey Jr. of sorts. They fit so, perfect. You know they're supposed to be doing a John Stewart story on HBO. They're supposed to be doing his actual mm-hmm. story of, of you know, what I'm saying the story of John Stewart, um, who. Is arguably the strongest Green Lantern ever, um, and that was that was from from uh, Ganeth, who said that because he's he's one try of the contestants. The if y'all, bro, huh? Then Tyrese try to get the. Hey, nobody seen no damn bro, Tyrese bro. as Green the Green Lantern. Ain't nobody seen no Tyrese posted, no damn Green Lantern. I, I, a couple years ago, he had posted something. It didn't yeah, look he had bad. About it before, I, I don't see him as the Green Lantern. Yeah, what homeboy, homeboy got roasted for that. 
He got roasted for that. Wasn't nobody, wasn't nobody doing that one. Um, the other one that I wanted to bring up was the was they are rewriting Red Lantern, uh, Ooh. and his his uh him coming into the the MCU, even like by comic book standards. Mm. So I thought that, that was interesting because he was like, by doing this. It's not going to be pretty here. I'm going to put this up here for y'all. So historically, they are basically rewriting the timeline of the Lanterns mm-hmm. to where he ends up being the first Red Lantern and this way they can write him into the MCU universe. So I'm not sure it's for uh, Vladimir is what his name was. Basically, for those who don't know, Red Lantern is fueled by hatred. And so after Perfect. fighting Thanos, yeah, the Darkest Night. Yep. Ooh, that was a good storyline. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this whole thing, I'm excited to see because now we've we've got we've introduced Thanos, we've introduced the Gauntlet. We, you know what I'm saying? We know of Galactus from the other movies, from the other Fantastic Four movies, and Silver Surfer. We've got the Green Lantern storyline technically in the MCU right now bringing in a red lantern at the end of a travesty, especially since we're going into armor wars and also uh secret wars and all of that, that might be where they go, which would give them the ability. Cause we've already brought in Hercules and we brought in Zeus. The only one what that they're missing from the contestants is Hera. You see what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Wait, Panda, I think you're getting, Wait, the land is a DC, not Marvel. Wait a minute. Unless it's it something I'm missing. No, I'm just saying the fact that we've got them. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. I'm confused. Okay. No, no, I, no. You're good. You're good. That's my bad. I'm just saying the fact that we're seeing all these characters, you know what I mean? Yes, it is DC. But the fact that we're seeing all these characters now, we've got Shazam, right? We got mm-hmm. Billy Bats and Shazam. We saw the old man wizard Shazam, who was part of the quintessence. Adding them, that's what I was going for, Monty. The crossover. Okay, okay I exactly. see where you're going. Okay. I didn't I didn't exactly. see where you were going with that. That's my fault. I should have said something. I should have cleared that up sooner. But yeah, so if they're doing the I you talking about my- Okay. I was low. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't want I don't want I don't want to misform anybody. Like, wait a minute. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. That's my fault. But we've introduced they've introduced at least two or three of them of the quintessence, which we don't have any of the higher beings in Marvel yet. So that if is, DC can that, pull that off. Oh, I see where you're going now. Okay. And they got James Gunn now. It's a possibility. I know what they should do, but they're not gonna do it. They should just hard reboot, but they're not DC should hard reboot the movie universe, but they're not. They're not now. I mean, now if they if they hard reboot now, okay, check this out. This will be the this will be the, the second time a black man saves a a, a franchise. You know what? Y'all know what I'm about? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell me I'm not lying. Tell me I'm not lying. <laughs> I would throw a pie at you right now. <laughs> I, I'm with it. I'm okay with that. I would accept said pie. However, you know I'm not lying. You know I'm not lying. Everybody says Iron Man saved Marvel. No, Blade saved Marvel. Anybody who knows, knows. Blade saved Marvel. DC mm-hmm. has not had a good... Left this night. Right. Yep. <laughs> ain't had, DC ain't had a good movie until just recently. And what was that movie? Black, Black Adam. As much as I hate well, them, it was black album. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dark Dark Knight was good, but it is still so. I will say that Dark Knight was good. I will give Dark Knight its shit. It it, it was what it was. It was immaculate. Hold on. Dark Knight was great for Batman. It wasn't great for DC. That, there we go. That's there the you thing go. for uh, Batman. I put it like that. Right, and that's the piece because there's there's a and that's the I think the problem with DC there's a separation. Each of their characters 
they have separated out so much that it's not not a DCU, it's Batman U. Right. You know what I mean? You got the Bat Universe. Batman, 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 Superman. Batman, 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 Batman. Let's get a Joker Later. movie. Batman, 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 Joker. <laughs> right. It, that's what they do. Let's have a Harley Quinn animated series, but we don't have a Wonder Woman see, animated he, series. This, right. this is my thing. Separated on it to the point like you have a if you when y'all y'all had the Dark Knight and y'all introduced Robin, you can introduce Lois, then boss Superman in. You right. can introduce right in on uh, Ice in. Like it, it's so many ways they could have oh, brought it together. How they did it with um, um, the Arrowverse, Arrow, Arrowverse crossover. They say I love your TV them. shows are immaculate. Love. That's what they should copy is the Arrowverse. I mean, the Arrowverse did it on TV. I mean, how the hell does a TV universe do Crisis on Infinite and DC couldn't do that? How? Right. how that that makes no right. damn sense. Logical sense. And yep. It, and it was. They, and they crossed to what was it? Six different shows over Smallville, Green Arrow. Was, Flash, shout out to to the Smallville cameo. If y'all know me, I mean it's my least, not even my least. I just don't like Superman, but he went over Superman. It, it mainly when Superman is a god, but when we saw him in Smallville, we saw him as a stand what, what is going on in his life, and that mm-hmm. made me. Want they humanize. Yep. Too bad they can't do a Smallville with Batman, but I don't think it would work the way it worked for Smallville. It would. No, but no, thinking no. about that, if, if they reboot Smallville, I'll be pissed. They had the perfect Lex, the perfect Clark Kent, Lana. Yeah, Lana. I know there was a comic book series that kind of continued the story where he became Superman. There's a yeah. comic book storyline, Jay, if you're interested. Um. They kind of continue Smallville. They kind of continue Smallville a little bit, like things like two extra seasons of comics, maybe if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. So he meets Luthor. He meets. Hey, um, Rod, right, right, I hate to take your title for a day, but we we, we got to pay our respects to Batman, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. So while yeah, while we're talking about it, might as well. well I mean, yeah. the man the man was in the um, Arrowverse yeah. course of what we were just mentioning. Just so. the legend. Mr. Conroy did just pass. Uh, what was it, this past week, I believe? It was Friday. I think it was Thursday or Friday. Yeah. yeah. So, the shout out to his family. You know, I pray that he's they're, they're doing as well as can be. His leg. You know. so hear me out. I'm going to tell you how, how bad it is. Other than right. that, the the Dark Knight Batman. When you think of him hearing Batman, you I'm automatically think of him. Yeah, when you hear Mark Hamill or Joker. Well, I said when you think when you hear the when you think of the Joker talk, you hear Mark. Hamill. That's who you. Oh, hear. easy. And that's what you hear. Yep. Like, oh my god, man. Yeah. He plays so many Batman. It's not even funny. The, it's it's crazy. We are, we I keep saying we are losing legends daily. Uh, it's sad. People who really shape our childhood. Somebody, somebody had did the um. If they didn't do Michael Keaton as Batman, um, Batman Beyond, they should have did him. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I would have been down. I would have been that would have been so lit. Everybody would have been cool with that every time. Yep. Twice on Sunday. Yep. Yes, sir. Like, yes, sir. 66. That's shoot. He was born a couple years before my mom. Damn. Mm-hmm. Wow. Man, but like I said, Dark Knight for the longest. He was the definitive Batman. He was the Batman. I'm, I mean, yeah, there's some Man. other cats voice funny. What, what do you think? If, we, if you could get a person who voice acts a character perfectly, right? Pick pick a show, but they don't have the body to embody that person on screen. Like, what if you could take the person whose voice, you know what I'm saying, really embodied it and give them the physicality that they would need 
to embody that game. I show my crystal sabat. You know, the first you. who popped my head. <laughs> nope, I, I tell you, who popped in my head. Who? You said you're a messy. Mm. Yo, I, mean, I got. I don't have my headset right now. I got to find it. Yeah, it's going in and out right now, but we got him, so that's all that mattered. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Friday, Friday was tears of joy and tears of sorrow. Let's tell you that much. This whole week I'm enjoying sorrow for tears. Say that much. Uh, from for me, mine would have been uh is it oh, I forget his name. We'll try some black dude, dude. who I want to say Kevin. I know his name and I'm I'm mad that I can't remember it. I want to say Kevin something. The dude who played the Shadow Man. Shadow Man and Princess and Frog. How does that sound, y'all? Goliath. Oh, Oski David. Oh, David. <laughs> yeah. David. Wow. He's a he has a good range of voices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keith David. Yep. Him. Him. I want I would love for the characters that he portrays, like for him to have the physicality to act them out. Like I could just imagine the quality. <laughs> because his characters oh, on screen are amazing. We're talking Goliath and Spawn. Come on. Now, yes, well, that's, that's not what even I'm fair. That's not that's even what fair. I'm saying. I want him to have that physicality. Like, I want him to be uh Kevin Grio Grievous, Kevin Grievous with Keith Davis' body, Keith Davis' voice. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, Monty brought up a good point. Will Fred, Will Fredo, that's a good one, too. Oh, uh, okay, I'm with it. Yeah, oh, yeah, hear, hear me out. Me and um, you know, me. Involved with hanging out, this always talk junk. So I was like, I asked some question like, mm-hmm. What is your all that span that we talked about? And I'm like, like, If you could pick your all time favorite movie, change the movie for better, either A, change the movie with the recast, what would you do? I'm, I'm gonna tell you my mind real quick. Your time favorite movie is, is Tombstone. Tombstone, okay. Yeah. Excellent movie, first off. And I think he, I just saw that. And he was like, hey, what would I do to it? I was like, but just to recast or recast sake, I would recast Wild Earth as Keith. Uh, I said Keith. Um, why is his name? Um, Keanu Reeves. Okay. But why my is- doc, Johnny Depp. Oh, oh, yo, that would be yo. sick. Mm-hmm. That would be sick, bruh. I just want to hit Johnny. I'll be your Huckleberry. I'm going to leave that one alone. I, I, I got no answer for that. Mm-hmm. That's tough. Hey. Yeah, Doc Holiday, that, hey. like that role is made for depth. I'm not going to front. I'll leave that one. I'm gonna leave that one alone. I got no, I got no dog to play <laughs> on for that category. I can't even think yeah, of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's good. That's real good. I'm not even. I can't even. I can't even say nothing. Can't. I, yeah, I can't even can't. say anything to, to to top that one. Yeah. Nope. We, we we did a whole bunch of moves, but I thought that was like a perfect casting. If if, if oh, you're yeah. gonna have not Keanu, but you need a you need somebody who can be goofy. Right, be goofy, but then at the same time, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I can't think of anything. That's that's a tough one. I, I get back to you on that one. I got one, and this is an this is an offside. This is an offside, but hear me out. Owen Wilson is one way to take it. Hear me out. Not right, 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 wow. right. That's one way to take it. The other way to take it is Woody Harrelson. And keep Depp as <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like two different ways, but keep Depp the same. I can see that. Mm. He be out. Charlie Shane the is a good older one. brother. Charlie Shane. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I think I got one, but I'm Wait. not sure about it. 
Spider-Man 3, swap out who played Venom for Tom Hardy. That's the only one I'm thinking of off the top of my head. I mean, I'd definitely take that. Tom was a decent Tom was a good Brock. He he was a very good Eddie Brock. 100 percent Yeah. Right, that's the only one I could think of right now. I have to really I just, I mean, yeah, him being Eddie Brock, that 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 tracks. That tracks. Ooh, if I had a movie so, though like that, I'm trying to think. think. What's that? What kind of favorite movies? That movie with uh, Dia Hughley, Jamal Moore. What was it Brothers? He's a comedy. Oh, the Brothers? Brothers. Which, which one was Shamar Moore and Bill Belichick? No, no. Or are you thinking of Keys of Comedy? I think he in. The, I think he. He was in the movie because it was a movie where he was fussing with his girl about you know. That's oh, how that was the Brothers. That's that was the Brothers. Okay, okay I'm sure. yeah. That's the one I remember he said, and he was like, "Who can he recast?" I was like the only person I could think to recast DL Hughley, Kevin Hart. Yeah, and then when it came out when he was popping, I could see that. But DL Hughley was kind of the like Kevin Hart of his era, if you think about it. Mm, he's not that funny. I, I thought he was <laughs> funny. Maybe that's just me. I know he, he's, he's, he's one of those yeah. like either you like him or hate him. He's one of those comics. I mean, he's all right. I mean, like, yeah. like, like, I like D.L. Hughley on Sweets. I, I love the Hughleys. Not like his stand up. I'm not a big fan. Love it. I do not like his stand up. Mm. His stand up's kind of repetitive, though. He's just a one note. He's a one note comic. You know who I would have put in there? It's Jamie. He probably didn't want to do it. Jamie Foxx. No, nah, but he wasn't a comic, but he wasn't that iconic hey, back who, then. Who rolled? Who Jamie is rolled up? Somebody else is wrong. Huh? No, I'm just in the movie in general. I oh, don't know. I don't, that's what I don't yeah. know. Oh, we, we talking about? I thought you were talking oh. about recast these roles. No, like King of Comedy. Honestly, this would have probably worked too. Swap so D.L. Hewley for Martin or Eddie Murphy. Not that funny. Better. I can see DL Hughley Martin Martin. taking that role. Yeah, so I'm Martin out for DL and King of Kings of Comedy. Shit, damn, that's kind of a damn. That is kind of a lit show. Damn, that is kind of a lit show. I mean, damn. the real King of Comedy was before after Richard Pryor, but I don't know why he didn't make that. We're not gonna <laughs> speak on that. And DL was just in the right place at the right time. Sometimes that's all that matters. Sometimes. That is exactly what matters at the time. Let's be honest. Yeah, I actually just watched. You know what I actually just watched last night for the first time? Barbershop, the ne- the next cut. I've never seen that movie. That? I was so bored last night. I was actually sitting and watching. I'm like, damn, this ain't half bad. I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be garbage. I was like, oh, this it ain't wasn't. Bad. It wasn't bad, bad, but it wasn't. Bad. I thought it was gonna be a horror. I thought it was gonna be a shit show. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh, okay. Patrice O'Neill, Eddie Griffin, George yeah, Lopez, Gabriel yeah. Jumbo, my guy. Well done. Ooh, well that done. would be a lit show. That would be a lit show. I would be there. I would definitely be there. But who's the hell? Yeah. Wait. I, no, I, I like his order. I was flopping around. Can, I had Eddie Griffin in the headline. Can I, Maybe I, would, I like Eddie, Eddie Griffin is my all time favorite comedian. Actually, All time. Jumbo has a right. Oh, I would swap the order. I have Eddie Griffin last. Patrice is the opener. Eddie closes it out. George Lopez is the third spot, and Gabriel's the second. I swap that See, order. I would have to switch it. I would have because okay. So here's here's why I would. I'm having, switch. I'm having Eddie close. I'm having Eddie close. The only reason I look, hear me out. Hear me out. The only reason I would not have Eddie close is because. Well, no, nah, because if Eddie's on the docket, people know not to bring their kids. Period. Um, mm-hmm. That's the only reason I would pull. The only reason I would pull Gabriel Iglesias off is because that's not a family show. That's the only reason I would pull Gabriel Iglesias off. Replace Gabriel Iglesias. If it replace or replace Gabriel Iglesias for um. Um, Lavelle Crawford. 
Lavelle Crawford, I'm with that. Now I'm with that. Keep, oh, that's yeah, keep, keep, keep the weight the same. Yeah. The only reason I'm bringing him off, because I'm a fluffy fan till I die. I'm a fluffy fan till I die. But the only reason I would take him off is because it's not a family show. And he prides himself on his shows being relatively family friendly. Oh, so, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that makes. Yeah. yeah his, he like he, he is the first comedian to sell out a stadium. He sold out Dodger Stadium. Oh, that's impressive. Mm hmm. The first comedian to ever sell out a stadium. Corey Holcomb is funny as heck, too. Corey is oh. hilarious, too. I got to look him up. No, no, no. I got to look that one up. Uh, hold up. I got to figure out. I forget his name. I, I don't know why. Cole. Dion Cole. That's who I would put in there. Ooh. He would be the opener. Uh, he would be the that's opener. I like, yes. I have, no, I don't I have him. Like his delivery is so. So funny to me. His Dion delivery is hilarious. hilarious. They got the yes. paper and the pen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? Low key now we're talking about it. I swear nobody has done I'm new, new on y'all real quick. <laughs> Low key, we still been talking about it. Am I still going in not? A little bit. It's like a. It's not a even. It's not even in and out. It's like a lag. Yeah. Because we can see you talking, and then we hear it after that. That's all. Um, I'm I'm an old I'm an old Japanese dub. Right. Right. <laughs> Man. Um. Oh. So since we on just random funny stuff. Hold up. Sorry. Had a burp try to keep that one in for you. Um, where's it at? I found this and I just thought it was hilarious. They were talking about bringing, <laughs> bringing this to Netflix. <laughs> Listen, if they get the, the rock, rock to fight to play with him, his nose, <laughs> I'm with it. I am down. <laughs> Secret. Well, what do you use the Fishing eyebrows? Nose hairs. The eyebrows. eyebrows. Use the eyebrows. <laughs> You'd have to use the eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's skipping in words sometimes, money. I'm getting. I'm hearing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But man. Oh, uh, but yeah, means... I saw that. It was like I said. It was hilarious. I just figured I'd throw it out there. The other one is this, and I don't. I need y'all not, not to cry. <laughs> that pissed me off. I, I saw that. But I'm like, you know what? And terrible death, <laughs> and the person who made this too. Oh uh, wait, well, I get half. The of only it. way I, old I, dude can die. Do you not get it right? I get half of it. I don't know the other part. The other Which half do you get? The one on the left. Because I just so finished watching. Just see the, right you, on Demon you Slayer. Didn't see Demon Slayer? No, I've only saw maybe the first ten episodes. That's it. Gotcha. Let's just say the same so, thing happens to him. The guy on Demon, and that's when Goku, one of the Hashiras, he died, Hashira, you know, Hashira. all these like, yeah. So Not both fire, of them flame, flame. They will get you for that. Yeah, true. And by flame, true. flame and fire base. It, it's fire. It's all fire. But low flame, key, honestly, Terry Crews. As he man, I do want to see that. I'm not gonna lie, I do want to see Terry Crews play He Man. That would just be hilarious to me. Man, just for the white tears, I'd be down for that. Just right, right, always, always. But you know what? I I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys when I was watching one of these with Aces. I was because I was thinking about him. Like if he didn't get where he get hit, he could have probably just seared his body to heal the wound. Actually, I always thought about that. So the thing with the their type, if they're not in that state, I can. it doesn't count. Oh, they're still corporeal. Well, oh, okay, I didn't know that. that. I didn't know that. So he used hockey with his powers to pierce Ace. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, I probably have to... when just like his powers, because it 
He wouldn't have worked. What's, yeah. what's the type called? The a is? He's a flare, flare fruit. No, the um, what's the t the 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 is it Logan? Um, I think no, 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 no. I think it's a Logan mm -hmm. type. Logan's whatever it's a Logan type. fruit it is. Whatever the fruit is. The only way yeah, you can Logan. hit a, a, a Logia type is, is with is with hockey, hockey or something that bad them. Because uh, if you remember, crocodile is, is a Logia type. Hit him right. was with water. Now just imagine if Luffy he had hockey, hockey at that time. That would have been a different fight. Right. Instead of using his own blood. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. I was just kind of curious about that. I meant to ask you guys about that. Yep. Yep. Um, what? A, oh, we are. Where is it at? There we go. There are talks of this. This is completely out of left field for me. Gears of War, they're talking about doing a TV show about it. Eh, it could probably work. So I think, I mean, I think they could pull it off. Yeah. Have you seen the new Halo TV show? Nope. I don't I'm not interested in Halo, so I wouldn't watch it. If you honestly. get a chance, it's worth at least watching the pilot episode. It. I will say it's worth at least watching the pilot episode. They did the uh the aliens so much respect. The Master Chief, they they did it correctly. <laughs> Monty, what's the boo for? She was booing. Uh, I was like, what's the what's the booing for? But oh, yeah, they, they did it well. More than likely for One Piece. Yeah. Probably. But, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Haters gonna hate. Oh, Gears, Gears of War? I told you. Wow, why the boo for the Gears of War? Mm. Probably the TV show, probably. I mean, it's a... T I'm not a it's doable, but then again, how many times has Capcom fumbled the bag on Resident Evil? Mm, that's watching. I can respect it. I think it would be good. I think it would work. It depends on who they get to play uh the main character. Like I really do. Because they've got the ability to create the creatures. We can easily do that. So it just depends on how they want to play. You've seen um No, you seen what? It cut out. Stranger things like things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I mean got shows like Definitely. Umbrella Academy, too. So, I mean, it's, it's out there. I mean, you we got the tech. The technology is there. Right. So, that's that's my thing with that. So I agree um, with um, Amani got a good point. Not all video game plots are worth turning to. That I would agree with. I agree with that. I do. I do. I'm not even mad at that. I don't respect hey, that. Forget they do you. I would love a spiral or crash bandicoot movie. First off, we had a whole TV series about Spyro. Now, Crash Bandicoot, I would yeah, be down I for. Forgot, I forgot about it. Yeah. Sky they yeah. Skylanders. <laughs> do you really want another Donkey Kong Country? I mean, can we get them to look like Kong? I'm just saying, like. <laughs> I mean, hell, I mean, hell, even the Super Mario Brothers movie is kind of borderline right now, as it is. Let's be honest. You know, which Super Mario? The Super Mario, the new one? Yep, it's borderline. I, I has, It's not even out yet. Is it out? No. I just saw the trail one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like, not a fan. But then again, I'm okay. So I was a kid who was raised on, she never had to get Mortal Kombat movies since the 90s. No, no. No. Don't say that, Jumbo. Nope. The current, the last one that came out was good. I'm still kind of waiting for a sequel for that one, honestly. I kind of okay, like that. Up. So uh, now I got two points. So as far as Jumbo's part, then I'm going to get back to you, bro. <laughs> so on Jumbo's point, he said there hasn't been a good more combat movie since the 90s. Rod says the last one was decent. So to Jumbo's point, they did make a good one. It's on YouTube, though. It's that, that fan fiction one that they did that had um, Michael Jai White in, the, in, the, in there as Jax. That one was good, but they never went with it anywhere. It's probably still on YouTube somewhere. Um, 
doesn't count. Look, it counts to me. Shoot. That's what, what we didn't have for Mortal Kombat movies. It counts to me. <laughs> as far as you go, Rod, my only concern, my only comment with what you said, I want to know who the hell is Cole. Why did they use him? That dude you know, worked. <laughs> I'll tell you why, because this is my main problem with the movie. That should have been too. That what we got with Colum should have been the second movie. The first movie should have just been an origin story for Sub Zero and Scorpion. That was the problem. You split that movie up that way. I think. I think. Okay, so I feel. I. 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 I see where you're going with that. I feel though that they they are doing Sub Zero and Scorpion like they do Batman. Like there is a bunch of different characters on Mortal Kombat. They could have done any combination of storylines. They it always could've. go back to Sub Zero and Scorpion. It's the you know it's the Goku G- it, Scorpion and Sub Zero are the Goku and Vegeta of Mortal Kombat. Let's keep it a buck fifty. True, true. But there's so many other people. Like you could have done like I would I would love to see a movie about like Smoke Cyborg. Uh, you know what I mean them okay like Goob Saibot, like how they came to be that grouping i would love to see a movie about them you know what i mean something like that they are they are the brand breadwinners of the brand uh jumbo i agree i agree but i still think they're overdoing it i think the the horse is dead and you keep kicking it you keep trying to milk a cow that ain't got no more milk like <laughs> that, I, I think that's why they tried to go with the coal aspect of it. But ugh. that's what was bad. They, they panic just in case it wasn't green light for MK two. There were no loose ends. I mean, they the wrap up. Yeah, that's why I said it should have been two two movies. You should do yeah, the Scorpion Soldier as the first one, that. then you do the modern day part as the second as his own as his own movie. That would have been fine. I honestly felt that was the problem with that movie. It, yeah, it's just it's a lot of different characters you could do. It's a lot mm-hmm. of different things. They're not. I mean, yes, they are. They are the bread and butter of the franchise. But so is Raiden. So you know what I mean. So is Kung Lao. Like if you take any of the original crew and do a movie off of them, they're all set. You know what I mean. The newer ones probably not as much, but they could take any of the. They could merge. For example, who did who did Mortal Kombat? Do we know? Anybody remember what studio did Mortal Kombat? I want to say Universal, but I'm probably just taking a guess. Let me take a quick look. Well, one, no, probably it was Warner Brothers. Then I think about it. Think about the gaming rights. Might be Warner Brothers. Uh, New Line Cinema, Warner Brothers. Yep, New Line and Warner Brothers. So, of all the characters that Mortal Kombat has on the roster now, including additional characters that they've added in, how many of them are also Warner Brothers property? Good question. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. That's something we can kind of look into for later, but like, if they could have t- taken one of their stories, for example, Negan's not in there. Negan's in Tekken for whatever reason. That was the dumbest thing I ever, but that's a whole other thing. Negan should have never been put in Tekken. He should have been put in Mortal Kombat. That's just me. But for example, I'm going to say, let's say they had put Negan in, or let's say Terminator, right? Terminator is in Mortal Kombat now, right? Or he was at least at one one of the last couple. Yeah, he was in 10 and 11. 10 and 11, Okay. So I'm not a big Mortal Kombat fan. I just I know it. I play it every now and again, but it's not my like forte. So Terminator, you can easily make a movie off the Terminator. Negan's right? Tekken. How how did Term yeah, I know Negan's Tekken. He should have been Mortal Kombat though. Makes sense like, though. No, I said neither are you in Tekken. Oh, oh, so we got jokes, is what we got. We got mm-hmm. jokes. Don't worry, that's gonna be handled soon enough. That will be handled soon enough, my guy. We we have a bit of a Tekken rivalry going on here, so I gotta put the little the youngin back to school here here uh, when I get a chance. 
anyway, I allowed him to gain, gain some confidence and get a couple easy wins on me. So, uh, but yeah, no, if you <laughs> the look on his face, <laughs> but no, the uh, Terminator, if you did a movie about Terminator, right, and bled that into the Mortal Kombat realm, like you have all these different people you've introduced to the Mortal Kombat universe. If they happen to also be intellectual property of the company, why not use their universes to drag them into the Mortal Kombat verse? Like when I say people have people want to keep using the reusing the same wheel they've been using, the wheels have been they're broken down at this point. You know what I mean? Like they've been using the same exact tropes. I'm not saying change change the process. But there's got to be more imagination in, in those creators. There has to be. Uh, but you know how Hollywood is. A lot of nepotism and favoritism. So, honestly, you need someone oh, higher up. And, or they just don't get the right writers or the budget. Who knows? Especially WB. We know how much problems they've had with also DC. True. You know, they have a problem having too many cooks in the kitchen. We know that. Yeah. You're right. You're right. But I mean, but do you see, at least see what I'm saying though? Like you could take any one of those extra people, have a movie start off in their world, and then have someone drag them into the into the Mortal Kombat verse, however that may transpire. You know what I mean? True. Like have them go collect. You could do a new a new movie where Raiden goes and collects the new people from the from the for the game. Mm, and it's just a bunch of little, you know, a bunch of little short segments of the movie of them in their world doing what they do, and then they come into the tournament. That's what they did in the first one. True. You know, True. Transformers movie universe is finally expanding. Hold it, what are you talking about? What did I, I? I feel like I missed something. Now wait a minute, hold up. What do you mean expanding? Last movie came out was Bumblebee. Wait, I think it's something on Paramount. I think you might be mentioning. I think I saw something on Paramount Plus about this. Like, there's like a, a Transformers series with Bumblebee's training some type of new transform. I'm not sure if that's what she's talking about, but mm. I know I, I know I saw that on a trailer for that. Interesting. I like, okay, I will look into that for next time. If you if you got specifics, definitely let me know, Bonnie. I'll look into it. Um, like I personally am waiting for Beast Wars. Yeah, they've been talking about that for the longest. Optimus Primal, I know. Like I've been wait, I've been waiting for that. But like when, for example, when the Dinobots came out, when I heard the Dinobots were in the other movie, I flipped. I'm mad they only gave them like five minutes at the end. But oh, the Optimus Primal, they got a date on it now. Really? Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Yeah, I wonder if that was what I was talking about. I know it's something with Transformers on Paramount Plus yesterday. Like an actual movie? Beast Wars movie. 2023. June 9, 2023. Mm. Okay, okay. I do see it. Give me a second here. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, now I remember this. Okay, now I remember. My bad, Imani. I got I got it mixed up with the um with the thing I saw on, on Paramount Plus. My bad. <laughs> Definitely my bad. Um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in uh, seeing that my when it comes in. Yeah, my bad. I forgot about that one. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. That's going to be... That is going to be on point. I'm with it. Okay. Same June, spot I left. June 9th, I have to pull up. I'll pull up some more work on it, but I'll try to get some uh, clips for next next show we do. And put oh them yeah, up definitely. There. Yeah, I forgot. I that totally video. forgot about this. Strange, yeah, because I'm looking at the release. That's why no trailer hasn't dropped yet. That's interesting. There hasn't been one. Yeah. That's if you ain't touch a moment. 
That's the part that's worrying bad, y'all. Mom said, hey. <laughs> hey. Hello. Yeah, I forgot about that. I totally you forgot about that. It's Goku. So, yeah. Um, that, yeah, that'll be, that'll be, that'll be love. Okay, so did y'all watch Beast Wars? If so, who was your favorite yeah, character? I did. Um, um, I I didn't watch because I wasn't I was I was not feeling Transformers when Beast War came out. I'm gonna be honest, so right. I did not watch. Right. I can respect. I can respect. Jay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what was <laughs> what was your favorite? Bro, I can't not remember names. Uh, or the animal. Man, what, who was that? The one look it up. Spark. Jumbo, the the honey, what do you mean? Which one they took the spark from? You talking about on the Decepticon side? The dino bot? Uh the raptor dude? Is that what you're talking about? Ah, uh, yeah. The raptor, he was, <laughs> he was, he was, he was sly. He was a sly little thing. Who else? Uh, my my favorite one. All right, so I had two. Black uh, Black Arachnia was one. Black Arachnia was one, just because she was bad. Cheetor, I could see you like in Cheetor, Monty. I definitely could. He he was like that fun yeah, loving about, I say guy. Cheetor. Cheetor, yeah. Um, other than Black Arachnia, I it was the wolf. The wolf Nightwing, Nighthawk, Nightwing, something like that. It was the wolf with wings that they had. Them and Rat Trap. Just because Rat Trap was a smart ass. So But yeah, definitely, definitely like those. So I'm interested. I'm I'm hoping they do the 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 main the main line at least. I hope they do at least the main line of it and uh get give some good give some good transformations because that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be real interesting. Um oh uh Rod. Yeah, what up? What we got on the Pokemon front? Well, like I said, I did mention Tears of Joy earlier. If you haven't been keeping, I know I've been keeping out with the Pokemon anime. It's right here, your boy Ash has just become world champion. He's the world finally champion. after eight hundred years. years. <laughs> and as you can see, screen that screenshot there—that's from Japan. People were literally in the one of the main districts in Japan, actually watching the championship, the last battle. Let me pull this up real quick so y'all can see. That That's movie, I would, I'm not gonna lie, I would love to have been there. So can't even yeah. tired. <laughs> so yeah, that's and Japan's been doing this a lot with like a lot of the bigger anime movements. I know Goku versus Jiren was another one. They did something, did an event similar like oh, this when it was there. Yeah, but um, episode one thirty one thirty, the last episodes of Super, they did this for. But Ash is finally the world champ. I'm not gonna lie. I, it was tears. I don't know if you still got the clips I sent in the group chat, um, Panda, but if you want to show one of them the actual win, how Pikachu won, was amazing. Hold up here. That, that battle. I have not watched Pokemon, but that one battle. Ash vs. Leon was a four-part classic. That was... I don't know how you top the, the anime... Hopefully they're just doing a Scarlet and Violet anime anime eventually. There's only three more episodes of Journeys, and then that's it for Journeys. Is the only... first one or the second one? Play both of them back to back. All right, give me one moment. Yeah, because I got them off TikTok, and I was trying to make sure I got some without nobody's reaction or anything. You can go ahead and keep talking while we go through here. I'm just setting it up. Yeah, because it came down the last battle. 
Well, just to recap the episode, Eternatus came because the previous episode was G-Max Charizard versus Pikachu. They had so much energy that Eternatus had to come and take away all the energy they were producing. But Eternatus gave them a gift, which was both Leon and Ask had Gigantamax again. So Pikachu, right. Pikachu yeah, took... Yeah, this is towards the end, yeah. Pikachu's running on, on fumes right now. Gotcha! It's down to Ash. It's just down to Charizard versus Pikachu. And Pikachu had just took out a G-Max center race. He took him out as a G-Max. And watch all the cameos. If you know your anime trope, you should figure out what's going on here. Can you all hear it too? It was the first intro for the Pokemon anime. So you know when this gets dubbed, you know what they might do. Play the second video. They finally did it. Wow. So imagine when that comes to the dub that that moment we sort of that audio that was playing at the beginning of the second part. That was the intro for the first Pokemon anime. That was the first opening. So you know with that dub, what they're more than likely going to play at that part. Yeah. Yeah. They got to. They got to get the rights for that scene. That's what's up. Now that, that, that hit. That definitely hit. Yeah. I saw so many TikTok people crying reactions. I saw so many people crying that day. Heck yeah. Dude, I had tears just then. Yo, that's, that was lit. Yeah, so Ash is the world monarch champion. He's the world champ, pretty much. He's the number one trainer. He finally did it. It finally happened. It finally happened. Yeah. They're not, they're not bringing Ash back. You don't do a moment like that. And us being nah. anime fans, we seen moments like that before. My childhood is up, right. It's like we finally one chapter of our life is finally closed. <laughs> Honestly, the way I was thinking at that sort, I was like, I need two other things to finish now. What? Well, three, three things actually. We need Hunter Hunter to finish. We need One Piece yep. to finish, and we need Detective yep. Conan to finish. All three of them need to finish. Well, we don't and want these. Piece. Well, those three, and then Bleach. But we've got Bleach now. So that'll eventually be coming. Hunters, we're getting it with the manga restarted. So it's on its way. So we'll eventually get that. Conan, we don't know yet. Because, yeah, they 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 just be going. Like, <laughs> I feel like that man ain't never going to stop. <laughs> I mean, if the money's still there, I get it. I mean, you still come up with cases. I get it. But, I mean, right. it's getting to the point, though. It was just like, after seeing that, I was like, I had a moment. I was just like, you know what? I think I... If that's how Pokemon fans felt seeing Ash win that, I can see how One Piece is going to end anime wise. I can see it. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be a whole issue. It's it, it, it's it's Oda, so we're all we're not worried, but we everybody's worried about how it's going to end. You know what I mean? That's like with that's like with Naruto. We was worried about how it was going to end. Like we knew how it was going to end, but we didn't know how it was going to end. You know what I mean? Right. So, it's like, like I said, no, not have, don't get it, but. That was a well. That was a long earned win. Like when Ash did that, I was like, yeah. "He did it." I was, I was proud. I, I felt like a proud parent. I'm not going to lie. I felt like. How old was I when Pokemon came out? Like, yeah, I think it was like 12, 13. Right when Red and Blue came out. Wait, what did Jay say? Jay, what did you say? Yeah, old. Oh, I, I probably wouldn't even thought about it then. Oh wow. Yeah, but oh, Ash. Man, Ash earned that. Like, like I don't, I don't even want to see another anime with him in it anymore. I'm done. Right. Like, you, could, you could legit do a new anime. And then the cameos. I mean, you saw Brock. You saw Misty. You saw Red everybody. Ninety six. I was. Ooh. I I was no, nah, I was twelve. I know it was definitely in like seventh or eighth grade when Red when Red and yeah, Blue I was came like out. Yeah, eleven, twelve when when Red and Blue came out. We've been following this man since we was his age. <laughs> I appreciate the follow, Electric. 
Electric yeah. Maestro. I like it. I like that name too. That's that's, that's a dope name. name. That's a dope <laughs> name. Right. But like like Ash earned that W. I like I said. I'm like I said. There's only three more episodes of Journeys left. I think he's wrapping up um Ghost Story. But okay. like, that's been no hint of a Gen 9 anime or nothing. So honestly, this is the end for the Pokemon anime. Four. Jumbo said he was four. <laughs> Jumbo was four. <laughs> that's all good. It's all good. That means you grew up in the era of Pokemon, though. Like we we grew up when it was it was starting. You know, like he was. That was the one thing I loved about the game. He was a twelve year old. I was a twelve year old. You know what I mean? Like you felt like you could do anything. Yeah, and, and he. Yeah. Oh. It's like like just congrats to him. Like I like, I would not yeah. want the Pokemon anime to continue with Ash. I I'd be disappointed. Yeah, I want. They gotta. Yeah, I mean that's an anime. That's an anime trope. We've seen that with maybe Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto, like. When an anime ends, you're gonna do a moment like that. Like yeah, we just saw. yeah, that's it. that is a thing. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because you want to show all the Pokemon, all the companions. You want to did all that if you if Ash was coming back. Bruh, and I've been the fact that they brought everybody. They they had Bulbasaur and Squirtle with the shades. My guy, he they Squirtle squatted him. Like, yo. Yeah, Primate was there too, but you could only barely see a shot of him. Like it took me three times rewatching to catch Primate, but Primate's in the shot. If you pe- if some people were concerned about that, he's in the shot. You gotta look very carefully though. But all his Pokemon, all his Pokemon, he caught over the years. That you don't do that. Like and- it's one, right? <laughs> like we've been waiting to see some of them come back, and they ain't, we ain't seen nothing. When they put when Butterfree popped up, I swear that's when I that's when I started crying. That's when I, I cried like, too. No, Tim was Harry Potter. I feel that. Okay, respect. She's yeah, like, a lot of Tim was Harry Potter. Yeah, a lot of people cried when they saw Butterfree. I think that's what was the trigger oh, yeah. for a lot of people. That was that was the trigger. That was definitely the trigger. Like you, like you saw Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charizard, and it was like snap. And then Butterfree popped in, and that was like instant release of the waterworks. Instant release. And yeah, then like Pidgey, you, I, yeah. You, you don't, you don't, you don't continue a show like that. Like nah. it, was, it was making me, it was making me think of Naruto versus Sasuke. It was like the way that one finished. I like, luckily we had Boruto, but if not, but, but that that was like that was the end. That was the end of an era. That's yeah. That scene. that was, that was yeah. His charger popped up right at the middle. Yeah, Squirtle, Squirtle was my dude. Squirtle was definitely my dude. Yeah, yeah. I was at a soft spot for um, Total Dial. I did like Crocker Rock. I did like I Primate. That. I like I did like Primate. I didn't watch Unova, but I I saw a lot of clips with Crocker Rock. He was kind of funny. Yeah, I, I didn't see Sun and Moon, but I know his his squad put in the work from what I've heard. I've always heard Sun and Moon is fun to go back and watch it. I always thought it's very comedic. If you like comedic animes, you might like Sun and Moon. But okay, but like. Like, I felt like that was justice to Sinnoh Ash. Honestly, him winning there, he got screwed in Kalos because I watched that final match in Kalos. I was like, wow. His Kalos team got robbed, but but he yeah. finally beat the Chargers on in the tournament, though. So that's the first. That's the first time right. Pikachu ever beat. That's the first time Pikachu beat a Charizard. That right. Even though we all know that should have happened long ago, long ago. Like I'm sitting here, like I'm to this day, I'm still like. My man's Pikachu went toe to toe with Mewtwo, and Mewtwo had to be like, "I, right, I, right, we just gonna call this a tie." And then he never won the championship. Like Ash went hand to hand with Mewtwo. <laughs> like he said, "Screw the Pokemon, I'm gonna box you myself." <laughs> yeah. Y'all trying to tell me twenty five years later now, y'all finally want to get this man his props? Man, if y'all don't get out of here. Yeah, Same. yeah. That's what I said. That's what I was kind of like throughout this whole season we've been doing. I've been kind of hitting. I, I feel like I kept saying it was Ash. I felt like it was Ash's last ride, and I'm, I'm yeah. kind of glad I was right. I'm kind of glad yeah. I was right. This is that was that was you 25 don't, years of making. That's yeah, you don't do. Was. Yeah, you don't do anything like that and then bring Ash back. Like if he comes back in the Scarlet and Violet as me as like a cameo older, I wouldn't mind. Like Professor Oak. I can see him in his like about our age. I can see him in like his early forties, probably. 
Probably still has a Pikachu. I mean, it's gonna be hard to beat that Pikachu. I can't I think still want to do like a side story, like a fan fiction of a Pokemon Academy and have Ash be the professor. Have Ash be... and Gary be the professors. I wouldn't <laughs> like mind rival, that. Rival teachers. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. That'd be fun. That would be fun. But like I said, on the Pokemon anime front, Ash won. As like I said, people watching in Japan and and, and their version of Times Square. So that's like that's really One Piece Red. Yeah, that, that's just awesome for Ash. Congratulations to him, his fans, everybody who's been watching the Pokemon anime since a kid. You are, you all earned that moment. We all earned that. Yeah. Moment. And right then. Yeah, the other Pokemon news, we got the Pokemon Unite Pokemon coming out. I just found some stuff out. So the next Pokemon coming to say well, he'll be available. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the next three Pokemon, which are going to be surprising here. The next three are Dragonpult from, from Galar. Urshifu from Galar. And the last one, Comfy from the Alola region. Those are the next three. One's a good one. I was I had a feeling was gonna make Comfy. I knew it was gonna come to Unite eventually because of his his abilities. I know it'd be good in this type of game because mm -hmm. it's a it's a support mon, it's a heal mon. Dragon Pult was a surprise. Not gonna lie. I wasn't expecting any Galar and Urshifu is going to be just like Urshifu in the game has two um, evolved forms. They're going to treat him just like um, Scyther and Scissor. So depending on what moves you get, uh, that's because he has like a a strong a strong style, a strong strike, and I think a single strike. I forget the name of the styles, but one is like he's a water fighting, then the other one's like he's dark fighting. So it depends on what moves he gets. So those are the next three. And then some other things coming to Unite Panda is they're going to start. I think it's after I think the next three come in, there'll be enough Pokemon to do a draft mode. So they're going to start oh, playing some of them. Yeah, they're going to bring draft mode. And you're going to be able to ban certain Pokemon, or only one person can pick a Pokemon. So, like, let's say I pick Mammal Swine, nobody else can pick Mammal. Can pick Not even just your team, but the other team can't pick it either. Exactly. Ah. That might be more of a competitive and rank, but draft mode, ban modes, you can ban Pokemon. Let's say you don't like Zoroark, he, mm -hmm. he's banned. If you don't like Charizard, he's banned. Or if you're someone who doesn't like Pikachu, you can ban Pikachu. <laughs> Which I can see some people doing out of spite, but <laughs> that's just me. And then supposedly there's some new items coming to the game too. One that one move, I think one I saw was called Snowball. And uh, you use the item and it freezes the Pokemon. So that'd probably be good for Mammal Swan, a little nine tails, or any of the ice Pokemon. That might be good for them. And then another item I saw was Real quick, sorry. I this just popped up. So y'all remember in Pokemon Masters? Blue right. character blue. Yeah. The guy who voiced him just passed. What? Oh, yeah. wow. Thursday, the June. No, no, no. This was in June. I hadn't heard nothing about this. What? Uh, hey. Ryu in Demon Slayer. Is he also voiced Ryu in Demon Slayer? He voiced Blue in Pokemon Masters. Uh, Raidu in Shin, Shin Megami Tensei. Right out, Jerome and Triangle Strategy, Ninji in 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, and then also Ferdinand in Fire Emblem, Three Houses, and Three Heroes. Uh, but I guess he passed in June. I just I was looking for the Pokemon, you know what I mean? The three that were coming out, and it oh, popped wow. up. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And then the thing with um Sableye, he's gonna be it's like he got most support Pokemon buffs the team. He's gonna yeah. be the exact opposite. So so Sableye is gonna de he debumps your um your opponent's team. So he debuff he's a debuffer. Okay. Which they haven't had in Unite. I know a lot of people, not a lot of mobile players are like they're starting to add certain roles from other mobile games into Unite now. So it's getting more competitive, even from the 
me coming back like just this week coming back i took three weeks off because i had an idea mm-hmm. but because if you stay if you stay online if you stay offline for like almost two like at least three weeks you get a welcome back mode and you can complete certain missions at the end of it you can get a free license but i had an idea because i thought i could sneak and get one of the newer mods for free but uh, didn't work my plan didn't work didn't work uh because i was, Jumbo was talking about gundam too we got to come back to that later oh yeah gundam I don't, that's another franchise as far as it hasn't got a, a solid reboot either that's another that's one he was talking about he's like a gundam wing reboot would be good i'm not gonna lie I will, I'll, i'm always partial to g gundam that's just me so i don't know mechs have never been my so thing gundam was- the one with Devil Gundam, ah. Godfinger. Yeah. I'm not as versed in the in the Gundam verse. If so, I will say this: I probably would have been more into Gundam if the games that they had played like Armored Core back in the day. I can see that. I can see that. Because I was like. And I will stand and die on this hill. Armored Core, the game for for the time frame that it was, right? We're talking about PS2 era, PS1, PS2 era, right? For the game that it was, it was it is it is to this day still the best mecha game ever. Period, hands down. I will die on that hill. Armored Core 4 was the best mecha game as far as mechanics, as far as controls, as far as versatility of con- creating a mech and like flying around in like full full open area battles, the best mech game you will ever find hands down to this day. No Gundam game has ever even come close to the mechanics in it or the graphic, which is sad because we have more graphic, better graphics now than we did then. Yet, the games are still not compatible. I think that's a big thing with anime games in general, though. Have you all noticed that? Like, for some reason, we know what games can look like, right? I mean, you, we've seen, I was playing God of War earlier today, for example, right? We know what games can look like. But for some reason, anime games never have the quality that they sh- we feel they should. And they never give them the time, money, or energy. Half the time, it's probably money. But still, I mean, you can't partner with nobody. Come on now, bro. You will get you would get more money out of the game. Like they're they're trading off the name at this point. Bayonetta three, prime example. Great graphics, great storyline, great game, right? Great anime. But they put the graphics behind it. And even though they waited for forever to bring out the third one, the fan base that came with that was they was on it. You know what I mean? They're just now. I just found a Gungrave. There's finally going to be a new Gungrave game that actually mirrors Bayonetta style, the new Bayonetta game style. It's hmm. see the retro. I mean, I get if that's what the developers like. It's talking about the retro style, I get it. But for gameplay and game mechanics, they could do so much better. That's all I'm saying. No, I can understand that. I mean, I'm also one of, as long as the game functions, I can care less about graphics. But I guess that's just because, you know, we came up in a different era, you know, with more about gameplay and functionality than yeah. graphics. So. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I, I guess for me, especially if you're coming from an anime, like it's one thing if the game came out that way. Like Mega Man is Mega Man, right? I'm never going to be mad at a 2D side scroller that started as a 2D side scroller remaining a 2D side scroller. I can't get mad at that. But you're telling me, for example, Sword Art Online, the graphics in the game, in the movie, or the, the show, are what they're average to most games today, right? Like, an anime graphics is average to most video games today. Why can't you at least keep up with that? It's the first game you're bringing out about it. The One Piece games have uh, the One Piece games are the only anime games that I've seen recently that have kept up with. They've started to incorporate the newer graphics. 
I'll put it that way. Okay. Whether it was different over there, I could see that, it, and it could be. It could be a country thing. It could be. You know, it, it could be possible. I don't know, but One Piece has enough passion and fans that they're not gonna mess. They're gonna put their. They're gonna put their foot in it mm-hmm. to use an old term. Like, I not gonna, like, like, like One Piece, Dragon Ball. You're not gonna see crappy graphics in those two franchises. You're not. You're just not. True. True. I mean, but like. If you look at if you look at most of the mobile games that come out, and also the PC games that come out, they all a lot of them start overseas, and they're really well drawn. They're you know what I'm saying even if they are turn based, they're really good. Final Fantasy, like stuff like that. Like there is, there is, I don't know. In my personal opinion, there's no excuse for it Un- unless it is like Monty was saying, just a distinct this is what we want type deal. I personally, I personally don't think there's a need for it. They could appeal to so many more people outside of the current base instead of just trading off of just the name if they spent a little bit more and up the graphics. The gameplay isn't bad. You know? No, I, I get what you're saying. I, I, I Like I said, I've always more, been more of a gameplay guy. Like, it may look pretty, but if it plays ugly, I'm not going to like it. Like oh, that's true too. That's true as well. <laughs> that is true. Like as well. you can, I mean, it could be fine. I mean, I'm trying to think of a game that looked good but played hard. Final Final Fantasy 13 game looked beautiful, but mm. the way it looked and played was garbage. I'll yeah. even throw. I'll even throw. Ew, I hate. I'm about to bring this game up, and I hate them. But Sonic 06, the graphics and everything looked great. Yep. The game played like doodle butter. I always said that Sonic 06 would have made a better animated. CGI movie than a game. I've always I always had that opinion of Sonic 06. Yeah, yeah, that sort of situation. You know, we we all know we'll go back and play a lot of our older games just for if it's if if it was not for graphics, we know the graphics were what they were back then. We're not worried about that because the way the game handles. You know what I mean? You know how the control schemes on it, they work, so we'll still play it. But yeah. I don't know. Sorry, tangent. Anyway, no, nope. but a good <laughs> good tangent nonetheless. No, because it's a good point. It's a good point to bring up anytime because that's always been the thing with with video games in general. The last what like 15, 20 years, everybody's been more graphic, graphic, graphic. People forget that if it wasn't for functional gameplay, video games would have died out years ago. I was playing. What was I just playing recently? Oh, the Cowabunga Collection. I went back and played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Two on oh, NES. Yeah. It yeah. took. The controls are a little different than I remember on the NES, but once I figured it out, it was old hat. It was old hat for me. Like I did the the mode we had. These are the cow bungalow. You can start with nine lives. I know I'm so rusty. I probably couldn't beat it the way I used to as a kid. But when nine lives on one continue, I got all the way to the technical room blind. I haven't played that game in like 15 years. I got to the technical room with Leonardo. One shot, and I just stopped because by the time I got to the technical room, it was like almost midnight. I had to go to bed, so I yep. couldn't. I, could, I couldn't stay up. I was like, I was like, Ugh. but you know what? Level got saves now, unlike before. <laughs> I know that's the thing that frustrated me because like I got all into the technical room with Leonardo, and you wouldn't guess what level in the NES game tripped me up. Mm. The the second to last level before the technical room. Those damn tires. Oh. Your... Yep. I. Yep. I was. Mind you, like I got to the Lions, I was four points away from another one up. Beat the, beat the Tigers, got the one up, beat the Shogun, and then I got too cocky and got caught by one of those ice ice traps in the second room. I was like. I know yep. I'm getting tired. I'm like, I know I'm getting tired. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So does anybody else do this? You you start playing a game and you'll play it and play it and play it. And as soon as you start dying, it's time to turn off the game. Like you died the first time, okay. Died a second time, okay. I made a mistake again. I got it now. Once I died three times in a row, I turn the game off. I'm done for the day. There's no more. I'm not playing this game anymore. I'm clearly beyond my limit. I need to find something else to do in my life. <laughs> No, that, uh, later and be okay. 
Yeah, like I like I was streaming a little bit Saturday. Um, oh. I was playing Final Fantasy X, and I got to uh, where am I? At? I'm almost, I'm almost at the good part of the game too. I got to do Bravell and everything like that yesterday, but I was doing the airship battle. Mm-hmm. Miscalculated and got caught slipping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I like, I misread that. I was like, I totally misread that one. Yep. I was like, like, okay, it's time for me to go do something else with my day now. <laughs> I, but you know what I did? I finished up that boss, and then I stopped, and then I did the. I think I finished the trials, and then I got to that via Pacifico. I didn't. I did Unis part, and I stopped. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stop right here. Mm. But I'm like I said, even doing one to two hour sessions, I'm getting pretty far. I'm fine. like I'm playing it mostly. Um, yeah, hundred percent blind. I'm going by pure memory. Mm-hmm. But a lot of older games I can play by memory. I even did um I did get Disney Afternoon Collection a couple of weeks back. It was on sale on PlayStation Shop like three ninety nine. That's what's up. Yes, yeah, so I got Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Oh wow! I haven't oh, touched that game in forever. No, I almost almost blind. I got to the last boss and I forgot how to beat the last boss. I ran out of lives. <laughs> I ran out of lives and I forgot I forgot that game had a rewind that. Sh- I figured it out halfway through, and then I beat it. Then go look at the achievements, and his achievement says, "Be kind, don't rewind." I'm like, "Are you serious?" Oh, wow. But it only took me playing. Honestly, that game I know pretty pretty well by heart. The third time I played it again, I beat the whole game. It was only three times. There you go. There you go. Like I think a lot of us, we played so many games over the years, like. A lot of it's just muscle memory. Mm-hmm. As soon as as soon as you start playing these old games again, you're back at it like you didn't leave. Yeah, yeah. If you if you played it before, you you kind of have an idea. Thank you. All right, I want to touch one, two things, and then I'll save. Yeah. I do want to talk about Armor Wars, but I want to save that for when Vocab gets back. Uh, we'll save that for the Armor Wars with Black Panther. Uh, yeah. Because that's going to be a bit of a thing. You all are aware, War Eagle. Yes. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that now, Jumbo. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> Boy, I said, blame. Boy, he already got patience. <laughs> patience, oh. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, the Witcher, Cavill. So oh, yeah. It was brought to, I, I found out, I guess, that. Dwayne is responsible for Cavell picking the cape back up uh, and becoming Superman because he's wanting, he was trying to get that rivalry there uh, between Black Adam and Shazam and Superman. So he wants to go against Henry Cavell, Superman. So I think, first off, I think that'd be awesome. That's just me. Um, Second, though, that means he's leaving The Witcher. So the replacement they found was the he's going to be the new Witcher after season three, just so you all are aware. Um, mm. Cavill, he said the majority of the reason why he left is the lack of respect for the original text by the producers and the writers. Uh, they're not a fan of the original, the original piece, and so. He wants it to stay as true to the main story as possible. They do not after season three. So, excuse me, for those who know the story of Witcher, you will probably start seeing changes beyond what we are used to and what we know after season three. Oh, so they're pulling the Game of Thrones then. Yep. Yep. Oh, boy. That, that's why he was like, I'm I don't want nothing to do with it after that point. I'm good, I'm out. Holla. I can um, respect that. I can respect that. And then uh the other one is Disney has bought Doctor Who. Um that was a very interesting surprise. I'm not gonna even lie, that was a good huge, huge. So this is the new the new logo. For the show, uh, BBC Doctor Who, they uh they ran what was it the new series is going to come back in November of next year, and it's going to be also the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. 
Um, it's going to be exclusively in UK and Ireland for that one. And then we'll get it after that. But this is going to be Doctor the 14th Doctor Who for this season. Um, I know the first woman Doctor Who, if I'm not mistaken, was Doctor Who number is it 12 or 13. If I'm not, I can't remember which one. 13. 13. Okay. 13 was the first female Doctor Who. And then we don't know who 14 is yet. However, he doesn't know who he is either. It's weird. Like he's he's got like some type of mental thing where he doesn't know who he is for whatever re- for whatever reason. Mm. However, the 15th Doctor Who is gonna be the first black Doctor Who. Oh, okay. I thought 14 was gonna be the first black one. Okay. Yeah, no, they said he's gonna be 15. He's gonna be number 15. Uh Nakuti Gatwa is gonna be the first official black doctor who uh moving forward after 2023 so i'm completely with it uh yeah why not why not i don't and I, so, I, I never watched doctor who, but i might give this a shot i might watch this yeah i'm like, like it was one of those like you gotta at this point i have to now like i i saw the old doctor who like original doctor who you know what i mean back back then because my dad put me on them but coming in now, like this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. He is from Wanda. Um, he's got a couple of decent little little pictures under his belt, as well as some different uh, different pieces. So I'm I'm excited to see what he does with the, with the part. It should be yep. should be interesting to watch. I mean, mm-hmm. Doctor Who is like a big franchise over in the UK. I guess they want to try to expand the market. Which which is understandable is you do want an international audience these days. So I get yeah. it. Like I've never and watched most Doctor of those Who. Over here who know it? Like we've been watching, even if you drop on and off. You know what I mean? Like you you've been watching it from there. You know, to get Disney to, to partner, not buy you out, but to partner with you. That says a lot. That says about how much faith they have in that friend. But that friend has been going on for almost what 60, 60, years. 60 years. Yeah. 60 years. Yeah. It'll be it's it's as old as Star Wars, I believe. Star Wars, I don't think it's that old. I think Star Wars is about, about that old. I think so. You might be right. Star Star Wars came out in the 70s. Uh yeah. 1970. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who's. I think is about maybe a little bit older than Lupin the Third, maybe maybe by a couple of years, but uh huh. Star Wars seventy seven. So what's seventy seven from now? That's about fifty fifty five. Yeah, it's close. In, it's 45. close to me. That's forty five. Mm. So it's longer than that. Mm. Star Trek started in sixty six. That's 56. So Doctor Who's older than Star Wars and Star Trek. Mm. That's a yeah. that's that's kind of surprise. That's a good fun fact. I wouldn't I wouldn't that's, thought... that's how you know they really been out here. <laughs> They've been out here doing this sci- sci-fi stuff since since. That's the true yeah. OGs. Yeah. Yeah. Sci-fi, the sci-fi. Fact that Disney... mm-hmm. Yeah, the fact Disney bought Doctor Who, um, like I said, I mean they did get the I said that. Get, them getting bleach dubbing rights that was just a that was a was a was a was a crack door and oh, this yeah. this is something this is something to keep an eye on this means disney probably has their eye on a lot of popular international brands if you think no, about they're it they're trying to go they're definitely trying to go on to buy you you hawk so nah let's see how bleach does maybe that would be surprising in if Disney gets into the anime game. That might be a game changer, low key. It's dude, dude. If Disney, they really for real put their mind to it. We, I mean, we know they would. They would be able to do it. That's not an issue. But still, yeah, like in some timeline for some reason, maybe Shueisha partners with Disney to bring out Shonen Jump properties. That's mm-hmm. a game changer. Like need to be ten, five years now. We could probably be seeing. Hmm. Oh, and speaking of Star Trek, Star Wars. I mean, this man right here. Y'all know him? I don't know that dude. That's Kylo Ren. That's Adam Driver. 
Oh, he I didn't is. recognize him. Uh huh. Kylo Ren from Star Wars. Guess what franchise he's going to be a part of next? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm gonna throw, a, throw some That's something true. DC related. I'm gonna throw. Marvel Fantastic Four movie. Oh, we don't know who he's gonna be yet. Doom? It's possible, but I hope not. But he's supposed John. to be in Fantastic Four. They don't have a they don't have a character for him I, yet. I would I say Johnny. He I looks would. young enough to be Johnny, but I'm not sure. I don't say Johnny. He I don't think he's got the cockiness for Johnny. Okay. I could see Doom, I could see Reed. He looked too young to be Reed. I the Fantastic Four gonna be really young. It depends on where they're starting them at. That's the thing. We don't know. Doom, I can see. He just has to bulk up a little bit, but I can see him as Doom. Mm. And Doom is probably going to be one of the more important roles going on in MCU. Yeah, so we'll talk about that next time when we start getting the Armor Wars. I got some dude. When I say I got some stuff for you, bruh, I got some stuff for y'all. Trust me. I, so, I know I need to go back and rewatch. Well, not rewatch, watch Black Widow because I might have a theory, but I need to see Black Widow to confirm something. Gotcha. Especially the especially the way Black Panther ended. I think I know how the two teams, the two young teams we mentioned earlier are gonna come into play. I think I have an idea. But Vocap, again, Vocap's not here, so I don't wanna I gotta verify something. Gotcha. And then there was one other person who's coming in. And let me see if I got a picture here. Ah, here we are. How's this one? I think it is. This is going to throw y'all. This is going to throw y'all. Remember that person? <laughs> Remember Boris? Oh, this, yep. Guess who he's playing? Oh, I heard this. I can't remember who it was. Mephisto. I can actually see that. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. I can see that. So I guess he's, he's been he's been marked to play Mephisto in a movie coming up here, which that falls right in line with Doom and Secret Wars. And yep, Jumbo, you already know. You already know. <laughs> Wait a minute, could they? Oh my god, I just thought of something. Maybe it's not the movie we're thinking of. Atrocities. Yes, sir. No, I'm going to throw a curveball at you. And I can see Sony would probably have the cojones to do this, too. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of a particular Spider-Man storyline. I think, knowing Sony, they might think they have the cojones to pull it off. And if they do, if Uh it's... when you think of Spider Man and Mephisto, there's one storyline that's infamous. I wouldn't be surprised if Sony has the cojones to even try it. They're not going to do it. Nah, they're not going to do it. You don't think they got. You th- yeah, no, Marvel will probably just smack them and say no. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nah. Marvel will be like, psh, psh, no, we're not now, doing it. Now, hear me out. <laughs> so. All right, I'm not gonna go too deep. I'm not gonna go too because we're gonna we're gonna wrap up here in a second. But okay. first off, we know Doom has beat Mephisto before. We also know that Mephisto tried to use Doom, and that's how Doom got a lot of his power. Because we all know how Doom is likes to play with people, act like he's following them, get the info, and then make it his own. So there's that. I'm gonna leave that for you. Put that in a nice little wrap bow tie. Leave it to the side for Armored Wars. Put a pin in that one. Right. They just take it. Said it's just- what you said, Rod, I didn't even think about this. Who is he the father of, Mephisto? That would be along Spider-Man's line. Wait a minute. Wait, give me a second. The father. Oh, my God. I'm having a brain for it because I can't think of it right now. Black heart. Whoa. Wait a minute. That's a deep cut. Mephisto is Black Heart's dad. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, like, that's kind of a deep cut. I don't know if they go that far, but 
if they want to go, I mean, I'm just saying, like he's he is Earth Six One Six's demon, like he's their demon. So technically speaking, I mean, if you that we if, we, if we're bringing in Final Fan, Fantastic Four, forgive me, Fantastic Four, that's going to reintroduce Silver Surfer. We've already been people have already been talking about bringing in Ghost Rider again. Yeah, they're talking about bringing in Mephisto. It all lines up. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I hope Sony gets smacked around with that idea I just thought about because I could kind of see Sony doing that. But that would be a whole whole thing. Marvel will be on there. We don't have to watch them every step because I could see Sony pulling some pulling a fast one. And that'd be their get out of jail jail free card with the let me be quiet. I'm not gonna go anymore. No, see, see, uh uh-huh. I'm being Uh very quiet. (laughs) I'm gonna be very quiet because if I'm thinking the way I'm thinking, and Mephisto can be anybody. What if he wait a minute? Even Dr. Strange. Exactly. No way home, that entire situation. That could have been that makes sense. I can see that. I can see that. I'm not sure. So. Definitely a possibility. I can see that. With Mephisto and Doom coming into the game, that's... Now, there's there's also the fact that Tony keeps coming back. Right? They keep trying to bring Tony back. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't know exactly where this is... But I thought I remember at some point Mephisto was actually Howard Stark. What? Yes. I, I gotta do my research on that. I don't remember hearing about that one. I, but... I gotta look into it some more. But like it's kind of like a Loki situation where he was just on Earth at the time. I think Mephisto, I think there's a storyline where Mephisto was Howard. That, that could be possible. I mean, I know a lot of people saw Howard Woods in a tech that he was coming up with. It would make sense. And honestly, I th- I know a lot of people thought um, RDJ would probably be in Wakanda forever because of Riri, but we might get that in the Iron Hearts. I'm not going to go into detail about that, but if you yeah, know a comic book. Definitely. I, I, I can see RDJ coming back for Iron Heart. That would be interesting if they do that. But the way, like I said, we'll have to wait till vocab gets gets here, so I don't want to go too far into details. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I think they're not going to follow the comic to that degree. I don't think, but they're probably going to just mo- they've modified her origin in a way. I think they're going to probably just jump to what the AI that she currently has in the comic. I think they're going to do that. Unless unless Riri meets Peter, but that like I said, I was a vulgar because that's a whole theory. I, I want to hear his opinion on my theory anyway, so I don't want to go into detail. Well, all right. Well, it's eight, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up, y'all. Um, again, that's definitely gonna be one. Like I said, I'm that whole that Mephisto piece is gonna be wild. <laughs> that and the Armor War piece, we don't have a whole MCU conversation though next week well not next week it's gonna be in two weeks uh it'll be the first weekend of december which is the fourth december 4th is gonna be our next podcast show um we are going to do by request a um a meditation show it's gonna be about 20 minutes that's all we're gonna do is just a quick brief meditation kind of type deal um it'll be six o'clock it will still be next sunday uh, the 20th. So we'll do that then. It'll still be at six. Uh, we'll get everybody in. I'm um, actually that one. Um, I may, we'll probably run it like this. I don't know. We'll see how I want to run it. Uh, depends on how the guys want to do it, but we'll, we'll figure that out off, uh, offline. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, we'll get that prep. We'll get that out here and then we will go from there. All right. But yes, next week we are doing the meditation. Uh, six o'clock. I'll put it up on the calendar on Twitch so you all know. I also will get better about <laughs> updating the calendar on Twitch for y'all. I apologize. Mm-hmm. So that way y'all kind of have an idea what's going on. 
Um, but outside of that calendar, check out and you can always ask us questions, keep up with events in the Discord chat for anything else that we may or may not be doing. And we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, we're right. hitting the, yeah, we're it's definitely cool. hitting the holidays yeah. there. Yeah, we hit yep. the holidays. So, like I said, these are all holiday seasons. We may or may not always be there for them just because it is the holiday season. This is technically season two actually has ended as of last week. So, you know, I thank you all for kicking with us for two whole years. It's, it's been two two full seasons now. Uh, these are just our holiday ones, kind of like just get together, talk trash, and enjoy. So, we appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Don't forget your control of the pandemonium in your life. We're going to be lit. We out next Sunday. Remember meditation before we go into Thanksgiving week. If you all decide that you all want more of those as well, keep me posted. Feel free to know, let me know. You know, I may schedule more of those on a daily, weekly basis. So, all right, we out later. Hey, black.